Hello friends, I'm back again with another new video for you. Hope this hands-on practical session will help you learn Java servlets more easily. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. So let's get into the video. In this practical, we are going to create a servlet to design a login page. And in this login page, if the user name and the password are correct then a message hello username should be given back else a login failed message should be sent the platforms which i have used for the project is a netbeans ide 8.2 and the glassfish server the steps to start with the practical is first one is to create a new project Next is to write an HTML code to create a login form. Create a new servlet file. Save the project and then last run the file. The first step is to create a project. Under file, we'll create a new project. We'll select the category Java web. Web application. Next. I'll give the name as login one next we'll keep all the things as it is finish so here's a new project this is your start page here comes your project login one you have an index HTML under the web pages, the source packages, these are nothing but your libraries and configuration files. Design a login form. I'll design a login form here. I have taken here two text boxes one is for the username the second one is for the password and the third one is nothing but a submit button let's run and check the form so you have your username password and a submit button so this is nothing but your login form Next step is I'll design a servlet. So under source packages, right click, new. You can select the servlet from here or else you can go to others. Under the web categories, the file type you can select a servlet. Next, I'll keep the name as it is. You can select the package, create a package if you want. Just give a name, a package would be created and this new servlet would be within the package. So I'll create it within the default package. So I'll not give a name for the package. Next, I'll keep all the other things as it is. I'll not make any changes. Finish. So this is your servlet. So just have a look on the servlet. So this is your servlet page. And, uh, you get all your header files and the method service method which is here process request so I'll start with the coding okay before starting with the coding you're supposed to run and see whether the servlet is working or not. so you can see your servlet is running it's displaying a message now let's start with the coding So I'll take two variables here, string, user, um, which will take value from request. I use a method request or get parameter. So this is the get parameter. And I'll take the value from the username u and 
this is another variable which is which I'll give name as pass and it is taking value from the P. So U and P are nothing but values from the index page. So this is the username is for U and password is named as P. So U and P are the values which are taken by the servlet by using these method that is request.get parameter. So these are the two values. So once I have fetched both the values, I'll write an if else statement. So the statement goes here. If the password equals, I'll select this one. The password is equal to sys. it should if the password is equal to sys then it should give me a message hello the username is stored under user variable else it should give a message of login failure is done with the servlet index file and the servlet file has to be linked together by giving a name here so my servlet name is new servlet small run the page so here's my username and password so I'll give your name Rahul and the password goes as sys so I should get an output as hello Rahul. So I get the output as hello Rahul. Else if I put the password as Rahul Rahul, then it should be a login field. Thank you friends for watching this video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe the channel. Do hit the bell icon. You will get an update as soon as I upload a new video. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye friends. Take care.